The seventh station. Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ. Simon holds up the cross, but that does not stop Jesus from falling again. His lack of strength forces him to fall from his task. Again, we look back to the fall of Adam and Eve. Adam was given the task of a gardener to the rest of creation. The work of his hands was not easy, but it was not painful or in vain. Rather, the work fulfilled Adam. But because of sin, Adam would toil and labor for scraps that were nowhere near fulfilling. His heart would ache for more, and creation would fight him tooth and nail and storm for it. Jesus falls again to the soil, the work of his Father's hands along with his own. His creation fights him for every effort to continue. His body is already traumatized, yet the work is not done, more left to do. As he lays below, toiling for strength, all those around him shout and strike out at him. Some land blows, others don't. Even the Romans strike out, frustrated that he fell again. They gave him help. What's the problem now? How many times have we fallen by the weight of the task? And how do we have the strength to stand up again? By your cross, you have redeemed the world. The eighth station, Jesus speaks to the weeping women. We adore you, O Christ. Through all the noise and commotion of this moment, Jesus hears sorrowful cries and wails. It is some women from Jerusalem who are weeping for him. But Jesus does something different. All throughout his ministry, he gifts words of comfort to those who mourn. Be not afraid. She is dead. She is not dead, just sleeping. But this time, no words of comfort. Rather, words that redirect their mourning. Jesus prophesies here, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. For indeed the days are coming when people will say, Blessed are the barren, the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. At that time people will say to the mountains, Fall upon us, and to the hills, cover us. For if these things are done when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? We can see much of these things in our own age, but it it is precisely for these days that Jesus came into the world. The Lord is coming again. Do we allow ourselves to mourn when we need to? How do we find solace in the promises of God? By your cross, you have redeemed the world. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ. The end is in sight, the task not yet complete. However, strength fades from Jesus again, and he falls. A third fall on this path. Could it get any worse? The fall of man got worse. Adam and Eve toil for their tasks and desires, fighting nature, fighting each other, and worse yet, fighting without God. Jesus, though sinless, took on the sins of all humanity. He lived in this world and felt pain, but did he ever feel separated from his Father? The weight of his task is blinding, and the sacrifice is all but certain but he has no strength left to stand. Panic falls on the soldiers. They're running out of time, and they know it. Two of them, noticing the crowd lightening up a bit now that they are out of the city, motion to Simon to carry on forward. They grab Jesus and drag him the rest of the way. They would not be denied their task. What they did not know was that they were not dragging Jesus to die, but allowing Jesus to move forward to victory. How many times are we overwhelmed by our tasks and fall? Do we deny those who would pick us up regardless of their intentions? By your cross, you have redeemed the world.